What's going on y'all? So I just got back from seeing a haunting in Venice and if you've been watching the channel for a little bit or a long time, you know that from all the reactions I've done to the trailers, the TV spots, the clips, um, I don't think I did any reactions to the future, I don't think I did. Um, you know I've had no excitement for this movie. I walked in really hoping I would enjoy it. And first things first, I liked it more than I thought I would, to be honest. I liked it more than I thought I would. That's a good thing. That's a really good thing. But having said that, it's still not a great movie. It's still not a great movie, man. And I'm, a, I'm giving this movie a three out of five stars because there are there are some good things in this movie. There are some redeeming qualities. Wouldn't say there's much, but there's some, you know. Um, I'm gonna get the positives out of the way first. Uh, Kenneth Braun is great, as always. I have to say, I'm, I'm really not a fan of him as a director. I, I really honestly think he just needs to stick to acting because he's a great actor, man. He really is. But I, I just, I'm not a fan of him, him as a director. I'm really not. But um, Kenneth Braun was great. He was great in this movie. Tina Fey, I haven't seen her in a long time. Um, she was great. All, all the acting, well, all the acting was fine, except one part with uh, Michelle Yeoh. And you'll know, you'll probably know what I'm talking about when you see the movie. Um, it's a scene in the trailer. I won't say what, but you'll probably, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. Um, the dialogue was good. It was manageable. Um, there was sometimes where it was like, Eh, you know, but then it would cut right to being good. Um, action, you know, their action was fine for the most part. Um, I gotta say, the movie was very... Oh, I'm going to the negative territory. Oh, man. Um, let me just think of all the positives first. Um, there were some jump scares. There were some jump scares, I gotta say that. Um, it ended on a good note, you know, it ended on a good note. Um, uh, man, I, I really don't know. Hmm. It might, some might come back to me, but I think that's all the pauses I have. I think there's more. Wait, oh, that's all I can think of for right now. Uh, going into the negatives. There's a lot. Very, very anticlimactic. Especially when it came to the reveal of who the killer was. And the killer in this movie, not going to say who it is. You know, when you see these movies, you think about every character in the movie. You're like, oh, it could be that person. Oh, it could be that person. And of course... Who it was, I was like, oh, it could be that person. Who I thought it was. It was not. And there was a point in the movie where I thought it was going to be, but then it ended up not being that person. And I was like, oh, man. But, um, you know, it was very anticlimactic. Um, I, I didn't like how it was directed. Like, the camera angles and... The tone of the movie, the setting, I, I don't know, I just I didn't like it at all. It was just weird to me. Um, pacing was, like, just all over. I wouldn't say it was all over the place. The pacing really was fast in the beginning. Like, it wasn't all over the place, but in the beginning it was like, like that. Just, I was like, whoa, whoa, slow down. You know, um, oh man, what's some other negatives? I can't really think of anything else, to be honest. I'm trying to think, but... You know, at the end of the day, it's just... You know, it's five letdowns in a row. You know, and... You know, you had Blue Beetle, Strays, Equalizer 3, None 2. Um, 
uh, Haunting in Venice, and you know, I gave all of those, including this one, uh, all four of those in Haunting in Venice, three out of five stars. You know, they're just okay. And I really, really want another movie to just be good, man. By like next week, I have um, Expendables 4. I'm really hoping that is good. Like tonight, I'm going to watch on uh, Prime Video that new movie, Million Miles Away, with uh, uh, Luis from Ant-Man. Uh, I forgot his name. I can't think of his name. I heard it's really good. So I'm hoping that is good. And then uh, Expendables 4 next week. And then next week, I have that new No One Will Save You. It's that new uh, Hulu alien movie, No One Will Save You. Or something. I think it's Hulu. Um, it looks good. You know, I'm hoping that's good. Then the rest of this month, I have, um, what else do I have? Uh, the Creator, Saw X, Dumb Money, which all three of those I'm very, very excited for. Paw Patrol, eh, we will take my sister to go, a little sister to go see it. Maybe my mom, my mom said she might come. But, um, going back to the movie, like I said, giving it a three out of five stars. It's just, it's okay. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. It is better than I thought it would be. You know what I mean? I, I, I would not watch it again. Would not watch it again. Uh, I don't think they need to make any more. I need to go back and watch Murder on the Orient Express. Because I only watched it once. But I'm willing to watch Murder on the Orient Express again. I only watched it once in 2017. I think so. It's been a while. Death on the Nile. have not watched Death on the Nile. Dad said it was eh. I heard other people say it was eh. But you know, I still need to watch that. Um, I, I think they need to end it with this one. There, a lot of people have not been a big fan of this series, and I totally understand why. I am one person, even though I have not seen the second one. I'm one person. You know, Murder on the Orient Express, I thought at the time, I thought it was, eh, you know. Which, maybe it'll change because I haven't seen it in a while, but overall, my impression of this series, it's just okay. And Kenneth Braun, I'm not a huge fan of him as a director. I'm really not. He, he's a great actor. And I think he just needs to stay with the acting. You know, like, I, I hate to say that, but that's that's my opinion. But, um, thank y'all for watching. Did you, um, tell me if y'all watched it. If you didn't watch it, did you like it? Did you not like it? We'll have a civil conversation in the comments below. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I'll talk to y'all later. See you.